Today our video is dedicated to a very special patron, Heather Kocheck, maybe? Konacek. Ko Konacek, Konacek. Without her donations, we wouldn't be able to afford meals like this, so essentially she bought this meal for us today, and for that we say thank you. Good. You are closer to him right now than most people will ever have the good fortune to be. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but I like it. <laughs> I don't know who him is, but cool. Is that God? I don't know. What are we drinking? Today we're having ourselves some 21st Amendment Brewing, one of my faves. Uh, a new one I've never tried called El Sully. Mexican style lager. It says on here, Hencho in America. What other information do I have? I guess that's essentially it. <laughs> That is essentially the end of it. It's cool though, there's a poncho or whatever on here. Or whatever. Ah, don't touch my coffee. Welcome back to my kitchen where today we cooked up a Newman's Own thin and crispy pizza pie with Italian sausages and uncured pepperonis. Here's the box if you'd like to see it. We know we can act, let's see if he can cook. 425 degrees Fahrenheit. For about 11 minutes I put it in there and uh, it's looking pretty darn tasteville. Yeah. What's okay. your favorite Paul Newman movie? Whew, it's gotta be. Should only be, there could be a couple answers, but. Okay. Um, in my world, there's only one. Answer. I'm gonna go with Dude, Where's My Car? <laughs> the Sting, you idiot! You're 1,000? I'll raise you 2,000. The Sting! Oh. Uh, you really like that movie? Oh my god, have you seen it? It's fantastic. It's one of the, uh, one of the older movies that withholds the test of time, like, incredibly well. It's not like. Yeah. Oh, this is so slow and boring, like some movies 40 or 50 years old yeah. can tend to be. We were in the grocery store and we picked out these pizzas and I go, Ooh, isn't that the, <laughs> isn't that the, uh, the salad dressing guy? You go, he makes a lot of other things. <laughs> I thought he was just the Italian dressing guy. That was the brand I feel like the, the Ely's got grown up. Newman's own Italian dressing. What a slap in the face to a great actor. <laughs> you owe me 15 grand, pal. <laughs> what is it? That ring? Oh, I'm sorry that I'm donating to charity by buying his stuff. No, the slap in the face wasn't buying it. It was calling him the, the dressing guy. He should be <laughs> he should be so psyched He's that I even recognized grave. him. Rolling over in his grave. So every single pizza of this style that is purchased, they donate 100% of the royalties and profits to charities. Like, they've done different charities since 1982, $500 million raised. That's Half just kind of nuts. That's kind of nuts. Half a billion dollars? Who would have thought that salad dressing could get you there? Who would have thought, man? Good for him. Yeah. That's Good looking one, guy, too. One way to look at it. Yeah, even on this box, even his cartoon version of himself is sexy as all hell. I mean, he's no Robert Redford, but he's up there. <laughs> Are you ready to dive into this? I am, dude. Look at the glory on this. I thing. know, it looks really tasty. Italian Filled sausage and uncured peps, dude. No nitrates or nitrates added, except as naturally occurring in sea salt and celery juice powder. Sweet, you know, the normal bro, way get them it. nitrates out my face. Thin and crispy Newman's own, cheers. Cheers. I like a good mix of cubed pepperoni and uh, circle. Me too. Give you guys a close up. Oh, it's pretty tasty. On the big camera of uh, how this pizza looks, so tell me what you think. Based on your frozen food pizza resume, how would this stack up? Have you ever had this? I was like when people comment, they're like, oh yeah, I get that one all the time. It's why I can't stop eating pizza. I'm like, cool. It's pretty tasty. Yeah. Four bites, that's all you need. I'm trying to take little baby bites. Mm. Little babies, baby. A lot of ingredients. The pepperoni and sausage is plentiful, which we always like. Don't be skimping on it, you know? Right. Ooh, whole milk mozzarella cheese. None of that skim crap. Mm -hmm. Skim just sounds gross to me. Mm-hmm. Most frozen pizzas are uneventful. So if you can uh, if you can basically cross that crush, that 50% threshold, that's pretty great. And that feels like this what's this doing, right? I feel like it does. Mm-hmm. The meat's really tasty. The crust, this is meant to be a little crispier of a pizza. Obviously, it's on the box. Paul Newman's doing what he can, even in his grave, to bring you a delicious pizza. And for that I thank him. You know what I think part of it is? A lot of uh herbs sprinkled on this. That's a very good point, Corey. A lot of herbs. You got all those Italian like seasonings right flavor. on board, dude. Ingredients list, where do you be? Paprika, garlic powder, that's it. 
A lot of this is just like the actual other stuff, you know? I like when it just says spices. There's gotta be, because look at, look on that pepperoni. I know, that's like a, a darkened Italian seasoning. Like a blackened, maybe some dark oregano. I don't know what it is, it looks like little tiny twigs and leaves and stuff, but I like them. In college, when we would go to the cafeteria and they'd be like unlimited pizza, and that's why I gained 400 pounds. I would take like the crushed red pepper gallon, and I would oh, take yeah. the oregano gallon, and I would take the Parmesan cheese gallon, yep. seasoning salt gallon, and yep. just like load my shit up. That's how you make it good. Sorry for swearing. Do you hate for the crushed reds? Yeah. I always find you gotta take the top off, or you're only getting two or three of the flakes coming out. You know? Did I give you one of these? Oh, you did. You did. So I went to an event where they had a bunch of Malort and Old Style stuff, and so now I only rock my crushed red pepper out of this because look at. These things slits. are nice and big. Mm -hmm. You know what you're looking for in life? Slits. How big? Big slits. Big slits. Overall, pretty happy about it, but will I give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? There's only one person That's that the can, ultimate question. They could play a drum roll to really help us. Eric? Every time, dude, he doesn't miss. He's a monster. How do you even do that? Oh! 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 Obviously. Definitely. Yeah, The ingredients were good, that pepperoni is really good. It's like. We noticed when we took it out of the bag, that's thick pepperoni. It is thick pepperoni. For a frozen pizza, they're, they're normally razor thin. This is like probably a credit card. Mm hmm. It's they're a credit card. Covered it. Fifth? Th thick? Three C's. Thick. <laughs> Sauce didn't deter me. Yeah. Crust didn't deter me. What more, what more do you want in life, you know? Another amazing thing Heather Konichek has lifetime donated $316 to this show. She is currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's in seventh place lifetime for top donors. For active. That is, for active, active donors. Top. Active donors. That means she's currently, because there's people who have deleted theirs who have done give thousands. Give a ton, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Heather, thank you so much for still rocking with us. We appreciate it. Every that. single month, that And she's so only cool. doing a dollar a month right now. Donate a bunch up front, and then be like, you know what, I'm just gonna kinda put it in we a cruise control. We still respect a dollar a month. Yeah, oh my god, because you're, you're still donating your hard money to this show, which we've Love been it. doing so much fun stuff lately, so. We appreciate ya. We appreciate you, good girl. How many drinks are we rocking right now? We got, we got a side beer. We're drinking a Coffee. sour. We didn't say this earlier. This side beer we're having, by the way, I don't wanna deter from how good this stuff is, this 21st Amendment, but we're rocking this Illuminated Brew Works, this like, what is this? Brett Barrel Aged Farmhouse? Is that what that says? Brett? Brett. Brett. I think it is Brett. Um, so oh. we got this because we like the label. We opened it and we go, oh my god, this is like a sour. And it's super good. I didn't know I like sours until this very moment. Yeah. Good for us. It's like the um, blood of Christ mixed with a beer. Mmm, doesn't that sound appetizing? <laughs> We hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Thank you so much for watching our video before you start your weekend. Make it a good one, guys. Have fun. Do it right. Kiss somebody that you love. Ugh. Kiss them passionately and deeply. But make sure Intimate. they love you back. Don't just find someone you love and start kissing them. Though. Right. Ask people, like, can I kiss you? And they'll go, yeah, for sure. And you go, all right, sweet. And then you're like, go, I'll go up to your office crush and be like, I love you. Kiss me. And she goes, I've been waiting for you to say what? that. What? Who are you? I've been waiting for you to say that forever. And you, you kind of, you hold her head like this. You grab her chin. Don't touch and me. In the back of her. This is what I'll really Why are you doing that? Sexy. She, but hold on, get, make sure this uh, character right here is giving me permission. I don't want to do a. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't touch you? my chin. Okay, can, can I, if I please kiss you? Why is your hand on the back of my neck? Who are you? I have those file, files to you by five. I don't think he even works here. Sure, I'll have a drink. <laughs> Going into Jewel to grab some goodies. Goodies. Some brewing review stuff. Ooh. This is the behind the scenes stuff you guys normally don't see for these episodes that I might put in there. 